What's up everyone? So proud of you for showing up to your workout today. We have a plank, press, and push-up challenge. We're gonna be pushing dumbbells, pushing our body weight, and flexing our core. So grab a couple sets of dumbbells and some water, and let's get started. All right, let's go. Cross your arms over your body. We've got a big challenge workout today, but it's a lot of fun. We got two rounds of every move. First round, set the tone. Second round, beat that tone. Okay, so whether it's a heavier dumbbell, or it's more reps. Round number two is your push challenge round. We've got presses, shoulder presses, chest presses, Arnold presses. We've got plank variations, and we've got push-up variations. So a lot of upper body and core. Turn over to the left, big circle back. Okay, in your push-ups today, make them your own, okay? If you need to go up to an incline, to decrease the body weight on your hands, that's fine. You can go up as high as the dumbbell rack. You can also drop to your knees, switch sides. I'll have some variations where you'll do a shoulder tap and then a push-up, walking push-ups down the mat. Good. Both arms past your body and up. But anytime you need to drop down, go ahead or take it up to an incline. Good job, three. Two, and gentle pressure on your hips. Open it up for those planks. Good job, and three, two, one. Step up with your left, back with your right. Hands go up, lean forward. Three, two, and turn and switch legs. Four, three, open it up, two, and one. 15 seconds, we're gonna start with the shoulder press. You've got 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds to rest, and then you do it one more time, but you go heavier or you beat that number, okay? So let's get it. Two, one, shoulder press, come on. Count your reps or just know round two, you're going up in weight. Good work. Come on, five. And breathe, good job, 15 seconds. You do that one more time. You either pick a heavier weight right now or you beat the number of reps you just did. I think I'm gonna go up big time. Let's go, three, two, come on. No bouncing yet. We've got a push press later in the workout. So this is a strict press. Nice job. Yes. Come on, 15 seconds, let's go. 10, one more, come on, come on, three, breathe, oh gosh, okay, 15 seconds, we're going down, plank, open up, okay, take it to the floor, side to side, ready, exhale, two, one, stack your feet, open, Challenge round two, you can grab a dumbbell and open it up with your hands. Or you can just keep that same good, strong core work. Improving your transition time. One, three. 
chest. Good job. Now, if you want to grab a light dumbbell, leave it here. Every time you open, you can pick it up, okay? Or just increase your efficiency in getting from side to side. Three. Let's go. Keep your hips up. Good. Hand stays under your shoulder. You're doing great. 15, come on. Two, one, great job. Now we've got shoulder tap push-ups. Okay, if you want to start off at an incline, that's fine. Tap left, tap right, boom, boom, push up. Okay? Two, one, come on. Set the tone right here. Good range of motion. Fifteen. Four. Come on. Rest. Okay. It's getting spicy all of a sudden. Round two. You can go down to the floor. You can come off your knees. You can do the same thing and get more reps in. Challenge yourself. Let's go. Three. Two. Come on. And I'm using a yoga block to tap down and make sure I get the same depth every time. So I'm not just going up here, okay? Let's go, you got 10. And breathe. 30 seconds rest. Your first push, plank, and push up. Circuit is done. Press, plank, push up. Next up, we got chest press. Okay, I'm gonna use my bench. Then we have a decline plank where if you have the option, you can put your feet up on a bench or a box or something like that, head towards the ground. Then we have a lateral push-up walk. Okay, chest press, let's go. Two, here we go. Forty-five seconds, count your reps or no. Round two, you're going heavier and you're going more intense. Ten. And rest. Whew. Heavier if you can. Or more reps. Or just push with more explosiveness. Let's go. Four, three. Come on. Big press, right from the chest. Four. 
15, come on. Four. Rest. 15 seconds, throw your feet up on a bench, a box, a set of dumbbells, and we just hold this plank. If you need to drop to your elbows, that's okay. Okay, if it's too much on your wrist. Two, one, let's go. Now, super important in the decline to not let your hips float up, okay? Flex your quads, flex your glutes, and then make sure your ribs are reaching neutral, not to the floor. Hold tight. Good job, you got five. Rest. Whew. One more time, and if you need to take that down to the floor, that's okay. Round two, I want you to hold stronger, breathe deeper, exhale, get this a little tighter. Two, one, come on. Make sure hands are not in front of your shoulders. They're stacked right over top of each other. Breathe. You got it, come on, come on. We're already in the second half of the second round. Let's go, exhale. Remember your strength. You got it, seven. Breathe. All right, push up, walk. We're walking down our mat here. Hands are together, you're gonna step out. When your feet or when your hands are wide, that's when you do your push up. Just keep walking. Let's go. Walk it out, walk it out. Whew. I know this is tough. We get a longer rest after this one. Feel free to drop to your knees if you need to after you take that step. Ten. Oh my gosh. We're so strong. Come on, five. And rest. All right, off your hands for a second. This is a tough one. One more round. The challenge here can go up to an incline if you wanna walk your hands back and forth down the bench. Let's go, push yourself, come on. And the option is to go harder in round two, but if you need to modify, that doesn't mean you're going easier. You're making it work so that you can still go hard, okay? Let's make it work, let's not quit. You got 10 seconds, you can do this, come on. Four. Rest. 30 seconds, get off your hands. Grab water, stand up. Who programmed this workout? Anyone? Anybody else? Want to take credit for this? <laughs> Listen, I'm in it with you, I get it. I know this is tough, but I know we're getting stronger because we're doing it, because we're not quitting. So let's go, 10 seconds, alternating Arnold press. You start here, up and up, okay? We got this, come on, second half of the workout, it's all downhill from here. Let's go.
Good work. Fifteen. Second half of the workout might be that time where you say, I'm just gonna count and use the same weight, okay? If you're getting tired, that doesn't mean you can't push harder. Doesn't have to mean heavier weights. It's about your effort. Rest. Great work. One more round. Ready? Two, one, come on. Thinking the palm of my hand is driving up to the sky. Last 15 and we're done with this one. Come on. One more. Three. Rest. Dropping down to your elbows. Plank body saw. Okay, you're on your elbows. You're gliding forward and backwards. So you're thinking of your nose going around your elbow to your wrist, okay? Your hips stay low. Let's go. Nice and slow. Great job, challenge round, you have the option to do same thing, just don't quit. Maybe where I stopped a couple times, I'll take one of those out. Or add a dumbbell to your back. Don't let your hips lift. Keep it low. Three, two, let's get it. Stay calm, stay strong. That's it, last 15. Stay calm, stay strong. Four. Breathe. Tricep push-ups. Okay, these can be on your knees, these can be an incline, they can be incline on your knees as well. Hands are here under your shoulders, elbows glide past your rib cage. Okay, ready. Let's get it. Good job. If your hands are too wide, it's gonna feel like your elbows are kind of jetting in towards your midsection. Hands are just as wide as your shoulders are. Elbows glide past your rib cage. Almost there, give me one more really good one. Four. Rest. Great job. Option to step it up is of course Make it more difficult, go down to the floor, or come off your knees, or you can go all the way down to the floor. Hand release, push-ups. Okay, I'm gonna go to the floor with you. Let's go. Good, deeper range of motion. Don't lead up with your hips, okay? Keep them neutral, press that ground away from your chest.
Yes, good job, come on. Ten. Two. Rest. You got 30 seconds. <laughs> and we move on. We've got push press. So that's where the little bounce comes in, where we use our legs to help us just a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna dip, punch, bring it back down, dip, punch. Okay, then we've got just regular plank hold, however you wanna do it. We can do side planks, you can do whatever you want, and then a max out push up, your choice. Whatever we just did, any choice of yours, maxing out our push ups. Let's go with the push press. Come on. Lock it out right over top. Fifteen. One more, three. Breathe. All right, go up if you can, come on. You're using your legs a little. I know we're close to the end, so I know you're tired, but I know you're strong too. Ready? Let's go. Yes, you can. 15. 10. Rest. All right. Any kind of plank you want to do. You're holding for two rounds. I'm going to do a side plank, weighted. Round one, left side, round two, right side. Ready? Let's go. Lots of time to just think here so we can run through a little body scan. Top to bottom, shoulders and elbows are stacked. If you're on your forearms especially, but even if you're on your hands, Rib cage not reaching away from your spine, it's reaching towards it. Hips are neutral and level, so belly button is not forward, it is also reaching for your spine. Two, one, rest. Other side. Let's go, ready, four. Or second option, challenge yourself a little more. Let's go. Don't have to be doing side planks. Just a plank hold, whatever you choose. But back to the body. Core is just nice and strong. It's thinking of protecting your spine at all costs. It's almost like it's reaching in to hug your spine. Right, feel that feeling? All angles from the front, from the side. Good work, come on. Stay, 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 five. Rest. Let's go right into it. Push up, max out. Any of the variations that we've done, any you wanna do, your best effort, and then your best effort one more time. Ready? Two, one, let's go.
Good job. Ten. One more. Rest. Good job. Fifteen seconds. One more time. You're doing great. We're almost there. Ready? Max it out right here. Come on, push-ups. Last set of push-ups you'll do. Come on. Good job, let's go. Three. I got something to get the Good job. The 15 seconds. Plank push-ups. And we're done, okay? We can call this plank drop downs. Sounds a little better than the push-up word in there. Okay, so we're up high. You go elbows and you come back up. Let's go. Just think plank, drop down, come back up. Every time you come up, switch the arm. Great job, I know you're shaking, I know you're strong. We've got two really strong mantras today. Stay calm, stay strong, and I know you're shaking, stay strong, okay? Think those things. You got 10, nine. Rest, good job. One last round, same thing, we go in five. This is it, right here. You and me, come on, finish this challenge. Let's go. Try to keep your hips as still as possible. Flex your legs, flex your glutes. 20 seconds, come on, come on. Go, 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 10. Four. And rest. Come on to your knees, reach your hips back. You've made it to your cool down. What an epic challenge. What an epic display of strength you showed today. Yes, you did. You did that, come on. Be proud of yourself. Let those arms rest. I'm just letting you breathe and stretch and relax your arms for a second. You made it to your cool down, so let's cool it down. All right, come on back up. If you can, pop your hands just right behind your feet. Okay, lean back, open up your chest. And come on back up top. Cross your arm over your chest. And you can stand up if this isn't comfortable to your knees. Big challenge today, way to accept it. Way to show up, I'm really proud of you. I'm really thankful that I knew you were gonna do this with me. I envisioned you the whole workout. Switch it over. I knew you were gonna be there with me and I envisioned us doing these reps together. That's what got me through. All right, sometimes strength is in numbers. Sometimes strength is in your mindset. Come on up to standing. <sighs> Grab your forearm, just let it rock over. Open up the side body. <sighs> I knew we were gonna push hard at the end. And as you head out today, think about all the ways you can push yourself a little harder than what you're doing right now, right? I'm so thankful for you. I am 
beyond thankful that you showed up today. You are one of my biggest blessings. This community, if I could express the amount of gratitude that I have, I would, but trust me, it is far beyond what I ever thought was possible. You and I working out, you and I and someone on the other side of the world working out together, I am so, so, so grateful to be your trainer. I don't take this blessing lightly and I hope you don't take the blessing of your health, your strength, your fitness, and your ability to move your body lightly. Whatever it looks like, whatever phase of life you're in, trust me, you're right where you need to be right now. So, as I mentioned earlier, stay calm and stay strong. Life is gonna throw us so many things and we can get worked up, we can get overwhelmed. We've all done it, we've all been there. Maybe you're there right now. Stay calm and stay strong, okay? As you head out today, think about that when you go to execute a goal, when you go to quote unquote, get back on track, stay calm. Meaning don't overanalyze what you have to do to undo or get back or fix or detox. Don't overthink things, stay calm. Meaning we just get back to normal work. Stay strong in the patience that it takes for you to feel like you're back to yourself again. I know it will be a tough transition anytime you come in and out of a phase, right? But I know without a doubt you cannot undo things that your body has done or that you've consumed. You can only stay calm and move forward in a calm manner executing day after day. Stay strong by focusing on let me just get back to my strength, okay? Let me get back to the way that I'm thinking about my capabilities. Let me get back to the mental strength that it takes to just stay dedicated. Coming in and out is fine. Motivation will come and go. Staying strong means adapting this as your lifestyle. Stay calm, stay strong, and let's keep rocking. I'll see you back here for your workout tomorrow. Great job today. I love you. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. So, so thankful for you. See you soon.